I'm tired, but it's uh, it's gonna be good. I'm, I'm getting excited. I have some work to do. I'll be up pretty late tonight. Artists across the city are getting ready to welcome the crowds as they take over the streets for Nuit Blanche. I'm Mike Wise. CBC News Toronto starts right now. Toronto prepares to be transformed as hundreds of thousands prepare to pull an all-nighter tomorrow. We're on the streets tonight to get a sneak peek ahead of Nuit Blanche. Last-minute preparations are underway tonight for a busy weekend of activities right across the GTA. Nuit Blanche, the all-night art outdoor art festival, gets underway at sundown tomorrow. And Kimberly Gale joins us now with a look at how it is shaping up tonight. Kimberly. Well, Mike, I'm in David Pico Square here right now. One of the art installations is behind me. Not much to look at right now. It's still a work in progress, but 24 hours from now, art is going to take over our city. Part of the Nuit Blanche experience is the sense of discovery. You never know what you'll find down an alleyway. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Brian Cauley is doing test runs on his Thought Balloon installation. Participants are invited to come and write a message on the provided typewriters, and those messages get projected up onto the glowing lanterns behind me. We're testing out a couple different things. So clearly still a few tweaks to work out. That's supposed to say watch CBC News. I swear it's not my typo. I, I'm seeing the distortion. Another out of the way place to discover underneath City Hall. Thomas Blanchard is putting the finishing touches on his photography exhibit, The Vault. I have some work to do. Uh, I'll be up pretty late tonight. They're just two of the 150 art installations Nuit Blanche is scattering across the city this year. The free all night art event is now in its seventh year, but organizers still face challenges setting it up getting permission from many of the building owners across Toronto to allow us to use the, the front of their properties, their atriums. The late night crowds are also part of the attraction, especially for the artists. I'm tired, but it's, uh, it's going to be good. I'm, I'm getting excited. Now I'm starting to see it actually come together. I'm actually getting more energy because it's actually seeing it come together is good. Now this all kicks off tomorrow at sundown and goes until sunrise Sunday morning. And overnight, TTC's running, and the route's also really walkable. Reporting live from downtown Toronto, I'm Kimberly Gale.